Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and we have the details right now on the 2024 Chevy Silverado HD ZR2 and the Chevy Silverado HD ZR2 Bison. We had a pretty cool presentation last week. We decided to bring you details today on these two variants from General Motors. So the Chevy Silverado HD ZR2, which is agreeably a mouthful, even if you say Chevrolet Z Silverado HD ZR2, longer mouthful. Basically, what they've done is they've taken these same trucks ideas that they have in the Colorado and the Silverado, and they apply them to the heavy duty truck. And so in these cases, we'll kind of scroll down a little bit and we'll get to the bottom. There's pictures. I don't have any video. I have pictures of these trucks. Uh, we have the off-road equipment off-road model mode debut. We want to talk about this specifically because this is what you're going to see with these trucks. So the equipment includes specific front, upper, and lower control arms and specific steering knuckles. So those are basically upgraded upper and lower control arms and steering knuckles to handle more off-road durability and hand, uh, handle better off-road. Multimatic DSSV dampers. Now, these are the same kind of dampers that are used in like formula cars and things like that. Also used in the Colorado and Silverado. Um, really nice setup, really smooth ride and really impressive how they work. Large steel transfer skid plate and front aluminum skid plate. The rear e-locker, electronically controlled rear e-locker. We have the 35 inch Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT tires mounted on 18 by nine inch aluminum wheels. Then there's off-road mode. Now this is a new mode. We've seen this in the Colorado. I just got done driving it. Basically it modulates the acceleration and transmission to hold the gear and not spin up the tires. Plus it impacts anti-lock brakes, steering uh, the track tra tra control and stability control. And so also with that locking rear axle, there's no, it's engaged in this mode. There's no speed limitation. A lot of people think locking rear axle got to drive really slow. There's no speed limitation. It goes fast as you want. Just don't turn because <laughs> you're locked in. Uh, cabin and engine configurations for the, for the HD ZR2 and Bison offered a 2500 model with a crew cab standard bed configuration only. That means no one ton or 3500 extended cab or car. I can just make that typo or a long bed option. Not happening. Also, there's a 6.6 liter V8 is the standard option and the 6.6 liter v V8 Duramax is the upgraded option. And I have some stats there as far as when that torque hits and how much torque you get and horsepower. Both made a 10 speed automatic transmission. The 6.6 has a 3.73 rear axle ratio, while the 6.6 Duramax has a 3.42 rear axle ratio. Maybe thinking, well, that's really a low rear axle ratio. Well, the way transmissions have gone to 10 speeds now, it's kind of mitigated the whole importance behind the rear axle ratio. They can go a little bit lower because they can modulate that transmission to mimic the higher gear. On the exterior, we have the same deal as you've seen in Colorado Silverado. I'll get some pictures in a minute. I don't need video. I'll show you pictures. Uh, we have a new grill. We have a new wheel, wheel opening. We have ZR2 badging everywhere, flow tie emblem. The suspension's raised one and a half inches. We have 11.8 inches of ground clearance. It has the same interior upgrades you've seen elsewhere, the jet black and the graystone leather pointed surfaces. You have the 13.4 inch diagonal screen. We have the driver has a 12.3 inch diagonal screen with a 15 inch heads up display. There's also off-road modes that they can tap into to see where they, what they're doing off-road. Uh, there's also the H GM HD surround view camera, which basically creates a bird's eye view of the vehicle around you, which is really handy for avoiding some rocks, or if you need to put your wheel on a rock to get over a part in a trail, you, you can line it up just right. It allows you not to always have to have a, a spotter. You can just kind of do it yourself. The Bison, like other versions of Silverado and the Colorado, this is with American Expedition Vehicles. They're doing this again, and they're basically making it tougher, right? So you get a new bumper, a new rear bumper. You have a winch provision. You don't have a winch. You have a bunch more steel body, stamp steel, underbody, skid plate, steering rack, exhaust, and transfer case. And there's the Bison exterior logo is AEV logo on the front seat, head of red strains. So you have more of this Bison kind of logo. Uh, these are The plan is to have these delivery production starting later this summer and Flint and then pricing announced closer to start of production. So let's get down to some photos uh, going down. Yeah, I want to go down to the photos. Oh, uh, as far as towing, excuse me, payload and towing, I kind of mixed that a little bit. But uh, Duramax 18.5, gas is 16,000 conventional. Fifth wheel, you have 18.1 and 18,000 for the for the gas. Maximum payload is 33.97 for the Duramax 31.93, and the HD Bison. In mostly all those cases, it drops a few pounds. And then one last thing: departure angle, ground clearance 11.6 on the ZR2, 11.8 on the ZR2 Bison. Approach 32.5, 29.8. De Departure angle 25.7 and break over 21.2 and 22.6. Those are those details there. I want to share for those on the story too. But if we take a look at this, you can kind of see the idea here is you're going off-roading. You're going to haul a some skid, a side by sides, a camper, whatever. You need a little bit more ground clearance, a little more capability air truck. This is what that looks like. So this is the interior, the same idea. 
We have the shifter up top because in heavy duty trucks, uh, the shifter works up better because of uh, plowing needs and customer needs. There we are ripping through the sand. We have the red tow hooks. We have the flow tie. You can see that bow tie that's kind of cut out. That allows a little bit more airflow into the engine. Not a lot, but it's just a little bit more. We have the big mirrors and this, you can see ZR2 badging on the side. And this is the crew cab standard bed. I think it's a six, 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 yeah, six, six bed. And we have the bigger 35 inch tires. And so it just looks pretty cool. And we have, like I said, get in the Duramax. And there is your look at the ZR2 front. And we come around the sides, we can see those wheels a little bit better. A little nice shot there. There's your Multimatic DSSV dampers and shocks. And there's your underbody uh, protection. There's a setup there. And then this is the ZR2 in red. And I believe this is the Bison version. Should be saying it in a second. It's kind of, I like the red. I don't really like the, the gray so much. But yeah, that looks pretty good. Yep, that's your AV. That's your Bison. So that's the Bison symbol that AV uses as a logo. We'll have it there. You have those same tires. And then there's your new bumper with those integrated recovery points. So instead of having the red tow hooks, a little different bumper, a little different shape, a little more departure angle, and a little bit, that's steel, stamp steel bumper. So it's, it's pretty heavy duty material. And we can see the Bison there. And the same on the back. So they got rid of the step in because they increased the, they wanted to make that bumper be stronger. So they, they kind of case that in. And this is AEV's version of it as well. And then you have the integrated tow hooks there too. And then there's your in, inside with that locking rear axle picture of that. And that is the truck. So those are the details I have for you today on the 2024 Chevy Silverado HD Z02 and the 2024 Chevy Silverado HD Z02 Bison. Long names. So, it, you know, in my opinion, when I got done with it, I was like, well, it's cool. It's not as cool to me as the Colorado and Silverado are because that was just really cool when it came out with those. And I'm surprised that, you know, they uh, talked a lot about hot stamp boron steel in the Colorado and in the Silverado. I actually studied up on that material quite a bit. And then they sent the press release over and they said, we leave that line off. It doesn't exist. So apparently stamp steel is now the thing they're doing over at AAV. Also, a lot of questions about, like, why isn't there a rear a front locker? Why isn't there not a disconnecting front sway bar? And where is kind of the wow factor? Why is there not a winch or something that really makes it stand out? Like, you know, Ram Power Wagon has is, is, is got all these cool features. Ford does their trimmer and that in the heavy duty package. You can get that with a winch, but this says winch provisions. Which makes me kind of, I want to go get a worn winch. Like uh, Ford Bronco Everglades has come with a worn winch. Uh, Jeep Wrangler has a worn winch option now. And I don't know why they didn't make winch as part of that package. But maybe there's more coming. There could be more coming. What do you guys think? Put your comments down below. Be curious to read those. Check out the videos over here. Website down below. PickupTruckTalk.com. Put a link to that story down in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.